Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and today I am updating my bed frame. So I got this old bed frame from Amazon for $129.99 and I've had it for over a year. Now it is time for me to go ahead and get rid of this bed frame. <laughs> It's been a long time. As you guys will see shortly, it was all over the place. The bed frame was practically falling off the bone. As you can see, it's time to get rid of this bed frame. Now for my new bed frame, I was going for like a Victorian antique type of bed frame. So I was looking through Pinterest and you know was actually also looking for something that was somewhat affordable as well because I wasn't trying to break the bank so I got this new bed frame from Harper and Bright design store and that's from Amazon and I got in the color black retro style for $184.99 and I did get the queen size bed frame so uh, there was an $88 delivery fee so you also have to put that into consideration as well that that also contributed to the call so I spent over like $200 you know on this bed frame now I was taking a bit of a risk when purchasing this bed frame because unfortunately there was no reviews on Amazon at all and every other place that they were selling this bed frame it was a little bit more expensive than what I got it for on Amazon and plus even on those sites like Wayfair or Bed Bath & Beyond all those things they didn't have any images of people who have purchased you know this bed frame so I was taking a bit of a risk I would say that um, but it is a risk that thankfully paid off um, so some of the pros is, of course, just the look. Um, this was the look that I was going for. And, you know, I was looking for something that kind of resembled this type of look, like a Victorian or antique type of bed frame. Yet, you know, everything was so expensive. So I like that I was able to get this for such a cost and still got the look that I was going for. Of course, the price was also a pro as well. Another pro is that it didn't come in like a huge box. So it was something that was easy for me to bring into my apartment. So a con I would say is that this bed frame is low, um, you know, and I kind of expected that because when I did see this bed frame on Amazon, like I'm not on Amazon, but I saw it on Wayfair and I decided to go purchase it on Amazon because it was cheaper on Amazon but I did see like one or two reviews and one of the reviewers did complain about it being low like it was too to it was pretty low like on like to the ground instead of being a little bit up there so I kind of did expect it to be that low but I to be a low you know bed frame or for it not to have much room you know to store anything under your bed but, you know, I did not expect it to be that low, but, you know, I did come prepared, so I purchased bed razor. So that did kind of help it out. So as much as it was a con, you know, it was something that I was willing to compromise on the actual, um, what you call it, the height of the bed. Because I knew I was going to get razors, and this just had the look that I was going for. And... Another con is that, you know, because this is wooden, unlike these portions where they um, show you where you put the screws and things of that nature, when it came to the actual, what do they call them, the springs, you know, the, uh, the it's not box springs, but where you put the little wooden, you'll see it's like the lighter color wooden um, parts. I had to put those holes in myself and you had to kind of measure out where you were going for I'll point it out to you all when it gets to that point but you know you had to measure five inches in between each um in between each spring or wooden part you know and I'm not a constructor <laughs> you know I am not um 
I'm not somebody who who builds things for a living, you know, or somebody that is good when it comes to those things. I'm one of those people just like this thing has where you place the screws in it, where you put the um, the nails and all those things. I'm going to need it laid out like that. So, you know, that was kind of, um, I didn't like that too much. I would at least like for them to put like a small, tiny bit of a hole or something there. Just so I know, you know, this is where I should expect the nail to be. <laughs> you know, so that's something that I just didn't like. You know, <laughs> I just did not like that part at all. So, I mean, I made it work. I made it work. You see how low it is? You see it's a pretty low bed frame, but other than that, I do like this bed. You see, there it go. That part where I had literally had to figure out where to place each one, but I really generally do like this bed frame. It like goes with the aesthetic that I was looking for, um, and it didn't break the bank. Um, so right now, I kind of already have the bedding, you know, from just the bedding that I already have. I would like to eventually like change up my beddings and things of that nature and see what I'm gonna go what I'm gonna do with that and of course I will record it and post it on YouTube when I have done so but this is the finished product of course with the bed razors which I like because I was able to store my things under my bed um, but yeah that's it and I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching.